Hey guys, in this video we're just going to go over setting up root access for the K1 Max and the K1 um, Creality printers. This is an official um, root solution uh, released by Creality. So at first you're going to have to go to their GitHub page which is Creality Official and then go to K1 Series Clipper repo. I'll put the links in the video description anyway. And then in here what you want to do is just go to Releases and then you want to download the OTA image file, which is this one here. Um, put that on the root of a USB drive and then plug it into the front of the printer. And then the printer should detect that you've put the firmware file in there and then ask you to update. Go through that process and then wait for the printer to reboot and then you'll have the um, root firmware installed. If you have trouble installing this, um, version of the firmware you may need to incrementally update if you're on an older firmware like a much older firmware you may need to update to the firmware that's next in line to your current version so um, you can't in some some instances you can't just jump from the oldest firmware to the most current because they've done some stuff to prevent root access by changing decryption keys and that and the newer firmwares don't seem to recognise the older firmware keys and all the rest of it. So if you do have trouble updating from this firmware, just incrementally update for the firmwares on their website and then come and get this one and then update to it. So once you've updated the firmware, you need to um, go to the printer's uh, LCD screen and just go through the menu. And what you want to do is click on the settings and then in there scroll down to you see root account information then there's a pop-up saying um, I've read and understood the risks of root login and it'll have a countdown for 30 seconds now once that countdown's um, finished you'll be able to click OK and then the root information uh, for the printer will come up and this will also enable the SSH option um, so you can actually um, uh, SSH into the printer so this is at this point root's been enabled on the printer and the account login will be root and the password will be creality underscore 2023 as you see. Okay so now the firmware is installed um, we can go ahead and install the, um, the fluid or main sale. Now if you go to creality official uh, K1 series annex uh, you'll it'll bring up the repo for the fluid and main cell um, installs that they've created um, and it's entirely up to you what ver what you want to install here um, if you like fluid then go ahead and install that um, if you like main cell you can go ahead and install that um, for me I prefer main cell and that's what I'll be installing here the problem with main cell is, is that um, the camera doesn't work because crow's nest is not included with it um, as far as I know crow's nest doesn't run on this printer uh, due to the type of um, CPU that's in the printer so um, you can install main cell from their official repo and you won't have camera access but I've um, modified the repo to include the camera stream on the um, dashboard if you want to install main cell and have the camera stream then you can go to my um, GitHub and get the same repo, but it's modified, so it'll be DNG Crafts K1 Series Annex. So what you do is you uh, either on the official one or my um, repo, either one, you just uh, click on Code and then Download Zip. And once it's finished downloading, just extract the files, then open up the folder that it made, and then go into the uh, K1 Series Annex main folder, and in here you'll see the same folders that are on the repo. So what we want to take here is the main cell uh, with cam. That's what that one is. So this is the modified one. Um, if you don't want the cam, you can just install the main cell. But we're going to take the main cell with cam. So we'll go into that folder. And then we'll take this folder and we'll copy it. And then we'll paste that onto the root of a USB drive. So now we'll put that uh, USB drive into the front of the printer and then run some commands to install it. So now to install it we need to download PuTTY. So um, you just go to putty.org and then you'll 
you'll come to this page and you just click download putty and then you'll have um, the you'll have a putty exe that you can run so in here um, you just want to type your printer's IP address and then make sure you're on SSH and then you just click open that'll pop open a box and then um, as we've seen on the UI of the printer the account name was root and then the password was creality underscore 2023 okay so now we're logged into the printer we just want to go back to the github repo and we'll just click on main cell and then just click on the readme file and then in here will be the commands that we want to use to install it so first off we're just going to copy this command which will um, copy the files off the USB drive onto the printer and then this one will be just used to install it okay so now it's installed so at this point you can go to your printer's IP address and add the port 4409 on the end of it So I'll just open up a new browser and then paste my printer's IP address with that port. And now main sale loads and the camera streams up in the corner here. Um, if you installed a version of main sale that doesn't have the camera modification, then th this part won't be there. It'll be absent. And um, yeah, that's how you get main sale or fluid. It's the same method installing fluid. Um, whichever one you like, but that's how you get uh, main cell or fluid installed on the uh, Creality K1 or K1 Max. And in the event that you want to uninstall this or um, change to fluid or just remove it from the printer because you're having troubles, um, you can uninstall everything that you just installed, um, which is basically you just go back to the repo and you'll see that there's an uninstall command. So you just take that and then go to putty and then paste that and that'll get rid of uh, main cell on what you just installed so at this point you could repeat the same process you just did and install fluid um, but if you are changing from fluid to main cell backwards and forwards whatever uh, make sure you just uninstall it first uh, don't try and over install over itself because you'll end up with problems with it trying to launch two services it's best to just uninstall it and then install the new one. So it's at this point main cell will be gone. So it won't work now because it's been uninstalled. The original Creality um, web UI will still be there, but the main cell or fluid, whichever one, will be gone because you uninstalled it. So just keep that in mind if you want to actually remove any of it.